You know, people often ask why I changed my mind and became a pro-life doctor. When I graduated from medical school in 1976, I was firmly pro-choice. And if you're an obstetrician gynecologist and say you're pro-choice, it means you do the abortions, and I did. But life is what happens to you when you're making other plans. My wife and I met and married and wanted to have a family of our own. We went through a, a period of years where we had an infertility problem and simply could not have children. And we were very blessed in August of 1978 to be able to adopt a little girl that we named Heather. Uh, funny as it happens sometimes, uh, we finally had a daughter of our own. My wife got pregnant the very next month and I had a son and daughter 10 months apart. My wife is full-blooded Irish, I'm full-blooded Sicilian, so since my kids were stuck with Italian last names, they were going to get Irish first names. Um, Sean and Heather were very close, figuratively and literally. And I was doing abortions as a regular part of my practice and feeling that I'm doing good for women. That's what abortionists think. And they believe it, firmly. In June of 1984, our daughter Heather was killed in an auto accident. And after you've lost your own child, after you've buried your own child, the thought of tearing apart someone else's son or daughter for money became intolerable. And ultimately, that's why I quit doing abortions. People sometimes are mistrustful of those in the pro-life movement. They think they're all crazy. Um, I used to think that. I really did. But when I came in contact with people in the pro-life movement, I realized they weren't crazy at all. They understood the medicine, they understood the law, and these people dedicate themselves faithfully, voluntarily, to eliminate what they see as the worst human rights abuse of our time. We found that very impressive, and that's how I got involved in the pro-life movement.